It's time for On Point, where we speak to experts to delve deeper into some of the key issues in the spotlight right now. COVID-19 infections across the world are resurging, and there's a pattern to this with yet another new variant emerging, which may be a little less dangerous, but more transmissible. So with Omicron subvariant BA275 now causing another wave of infections across the world, what can be done to minimize the impact this time around? Join, joining us to discuss, we have Ben Cowling, Chair Professor of Epidemiology at the University of Hong Kong with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So first, BA275 strain is yet another new subvariant that is causing concern. Could you explain how dangerous this new strain is? Yeah, it's yet another subvariant of Omicron. We know that it's slightly more transmissible than BA5 and what came before that BA2 and BA1. Uh, and it's in terms of the severity, it looks so far to be roughly similar to the other Omicron subvariants, which means milder than Delta, but still not necessarily uh, very mild, particularly for people who haven't had COVID before. It's spreading very rapidly in some parts of the world, but it hasn't yet reached everywhere. I know in Korea you have a handful of cases. Uh, it, it may well be the next subvariant that, that dominates uh, uh, transmission locally, but I don't think it's a major threat because uh, it, it's just another Omicron subvariant, and, and we know BA4, BA5 are already spreading around the world in Europe and North America and in Korea as well, uh, ca causing a lot of infections already. And well, Professor, you said that it's a subvariant of Omicron, but um, if you had been infected with Omicron, one of the earlier variants um, earlier during the year, then what are the chances that you can be infected with a new variant? It depends a little bit on what exactly you got before and how long ago it was. If you got BA1 earlier this year, that does not provide too much cross protection against uh, BA4, BA5 and BA2.75. But if you got BA2 earlier this year, probably you do have some degree of cross protection. And you can see at the minute BA4, BA5 is not, not rising as rapidly as the previous subvariants did because of that cross protection. But even if you're protected now because of your prior infection, most likely in the future there'll be a new subvariant or a new variant that gets around that immunity. So at the moment, in the last year or so, it looks like immunity is lasting between three and six months after an infection. And after that, because the virus is changing, uh, you, you may have a chance to get infected again. Right. So. Uh just a couple of days ago, WHO just announced a new vaccination strategy to make sure vaccines are distributed fairly across the world. How important is it that people in low-income countries are also vaccinated? Will this stop new variants, possibly? Well, the, the WHO announcement is uh, re-emphasizing the aim that around the world, 70% of populations should get vaccinated and 100% of healthcare workers and 100% of high-risk groups like the elderly, uh, not only with two doses, but with three doses of, of, of vaccines. Whether that's going to be achievable, I don't know, because there's still supply limitations and cost issues and so on in, in, in some parts of the world. And there's also, in some parts of the world, less enthusiasm for vaccination uh, d depending on, on the circumstances there. As to whether increasing vaccine coverage will reduce the emergence of variants, I don't think so. I think the variants are coming because the virus is finding a way round immunity, and that's whether the immunity comes from vaccines or from infections. Uh, either way, I think that the virus will find new directions and new pathways to, to be able to continue to infect us, and that will not be stopped by high vaccine coverage. But nevertheless, are vaccines going to continue to be updated? I mean, is there a point to playing this catch-up game all the time, or should there be more focus on treatments? Well, no, we talked about updating vaccines for many times already, and I think it's really, really important. Uh, what's happening at the moment, I think in Europe, they're planning to get an updated vaccine with the BA1 strain, which actually is a little bit outdated already. And in the US, they've requested an updated vaccine with BA4 or BA5. That's going to take a little bit of time before it becomes available, maybe later this year. Now, of course, by that time, there may be another subvariant or another variant. So at the minute, it still seems like we are playing catch up, but at least the manufacturers and the, the regulatory agencies are looking to get up 
updated vaccines because we know we've got to do better at keeping up with the virus. Right. Uh, thank you. As always, it's always a pleasure speaking to you on our show, and we hope to speak to you again soon. Thank you.